Welcome to this week's video. In this week's video, we're going through all the St. Lawrence locks, sea do acrobatics, and we even made a C-130 do a flyby for us. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hey guys, this is a story of Capella C and her three crew that uh, sailed just across the Great Lakes in the Eastern Canyon. I'm Jason, the captain. Off lady said us, I can say something. Boss lady. And I'm Kieran, aka Mr. Kieran. And this is our newest crew member, Senior Garfield. Now, let's, let's see what let's we're, up, we're up, up to this week. Way right back to Iroquois? Yeah. To do a couple of uh, repairs. And uh, yes, we are under motor because, well, the wind is not in our favor today. Actually, there's none of it. <laughs> That don't know Mademoiselle Hey Hey. Well, yes, Hey Hey is back, and uh, she still likes Daddy as much as she used to. So let's see what she does. You know it's bad when your chicken wants to get her breast or your belly rubbed. She goes, "Oh, there you go." All right. <laughs> so sorry, guys. That was probably one of the last times you got to see Hey Hey. Uh, she uh, went to a place where she had a lot more room, uh, but also she was kept as a pet uh, and not as a uh, hen, you know, giving out uh, eggs and you know just for food. Um, she's inside. She's loving it. Uh, her human is a two-year-old uh, that's in love with her, um, and I'm sure they'll have uh, quite a few years uh, together and happy. So uh, this is a good thing. Um, I wanted nothing but the best for Hey Hey, and uh, she got it. And I really hope that her new family will appreciate her as much as we did. Thanks. Well, the first of many locks. This is Iroquois locks. We have to wait uh, another 15 minutes to get through. Thank you, Mr. Clifford, for uh, being my uh, second man. And uh, here we are, waiting for them. Everything's awesome. Ready for the big trip. Well, here you go, guys. We are going down. And this is Dwight Eisenhower. And we were just about at the top and by the time we're done, the mast will be even with the top. Let me take this time to just give you a little uh, overview of the locks down the St. Lawrence. Uh, the L Ontario Lake sits at 243 to 247, 8 uh, foot above sea level. And once you're out of the last lock, you're at, at about 30 feet above sea level in Montreal. Um, now, this said, the uh, American locks usually give you a 45 to 55 foot drop, and uh, the second lock gives you about a 40 foot drop. Oh yeah, that mass is way below. Oh my god! 
It's opening. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Look at that. Can you see, can you see the, the uh, Instead of trying to do it like that, why don't you just put it around one period? You know? What do you mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, see, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, Jay. There you go. Make it a little less complicated. How many are we spinning on our ankles? When this is your view, you know that you've completed all seven locks on the St. Lawrence River. Now, this is quite a relief, and uh, open waters is what's waiting in front of you. I don't think so. So here is uh, La Ronde, or Six Flags uh, for the uh, new people. Here's the monster. traffic here and uh, close to Paul Neff so uh, somebody's personal 108 foot long personal yacht pleasure craft coming down the river you'll be crossing on our port side two seconds now, during our trip, I had a very good friend of mine ask me if I could uh, bring his boat to Quebec City from Gananoque. Now, uh, we did so, uh, me and another one of my friends, um, <laughs> and we were doing about 17, 18 miles an hour when uh, this group of jet skiers and sidurs came up to us and uh, asked us if they could jump our wake, which I made sure to keep the boat in a straight line, and they did quite a few acrobatics behind us, and I'll let you listen to the rest of the conversation. Look off, I that I can her as much as you want, I'm going to make you waves, I don't care.
what you can see coming here is a Canadian C-130, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not the best one with planes and such. But uh, as he flew by, we called him out on 16. And we actually asked him if he could do a flyby. Well, hold and behold, he actually turned around and came back to do a really nice flyby. And this next video will show you what he did. And this was to our amazement, a big thank you to those pilots and uh, Canadian Army personnel for, I guess, wasting a few minutes of their time on us. But uh, for the spectacle, it was just amazing. And uh, we really admire these uh, soldiers. And uh, just incredible, just incredible what they do for us. So, there's 17 feet of tide here, from what I read anyway, and that's the sandbar that gets cleared at low tide, and uh, yeah, along with uh, all the other debris. debris that came in with the tide, or pulled out I should say, uh, high tide, I don't know if you guys can see this, but he's on the mooring. In a high tide, the water goes right up to this carton over there. And look at the clearance on the wall. In a high tide, we're pretty much five feet off the top of it. <laughs> hey guys, we're off to another adventure. Please like, subscribe, and please share if you like these videos. See you guys. If you guys want to help us without doing much at all, please click like and subscribe. And possibly that little bell to get notifications next time we put out a video. Thanks, guys.